Hello. Uh, okay. I guess I haven't started VR mode yet, so you can see me. Hi, everybody. This is Uberrex, and uh, as you can tell, I'm about to start streaming the Resident Evil uh, beginning hour trailer in VR mode. So um, we're going to get started. Let me just get this into VR mode and kick it off, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself and uh, about my uh, history with Resident Evil before we start this off. Play in VR mode. Yes. So... Uh me anymore um but you should still be able to interact with me by typing into the chat so if anyone's out there watching type something into the chat now and it should speak out your comments to me okay so uh anyone who's out there just try it and hopefully this will work i have um it on authority from a confederate on the outside that that my mic is working uh so uh you know feel free to chat with me at any time okay so we're going to start the tutorial because i haven't played this in vr mode yet all right Slightly disorienting. Aha. Ha. Got it. Okay. Don't barb. <laughs> Yay, someone can hear me. I can always hear you. <laughs> You're always creepy. Thank you. Is that is that you, Neckray? Okay. So, um, let me just tell you guys a little bit about myself. This uh, is sort of a screen test. This is the first time I am really uh, Twitch of broadcasting. Course especially in VR. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the things that got me really excited to do this was the fact that Resident Evil 7 is coming out uh, very soon. Robot lady voice is delayed. <laughs> yes. Yes, robot lady to vo voice is delayed. Um, so uh, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I have been since the very first game. Uh, I have played every game in the main series. I've finished them all except for Zero and Six, and I think I should get a pass on those. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to play this game in VR. I'm taking a huge chance uh, pre-ordering it since the last couple of mainline games have been pretty lackluster, but um, I'm hoping that the VR experience is going to, um, you know, really, uh, really be awesome here. So uh, let's see how this goes. And uh, I, I have played through this trailer a couple of times before, but I haven't done it in VR. So let's start the show. All right. Wow. Get out of the house. Yeah, really. Like, like you had to tell me. Creepy ring television, check. I don't have a videotape, okay. Huh. 
I also don't have a fuse. And I can see from the diagram that that's for the stairs. All right. Oh, a piano. I'm going to play this. I guess not. Well, at least it didn't start playing Moonlight Sonata at me, creepily. Yeah, this really is creepier in VR. Wow, holy crap. I mean, I, I know it's not really coming through on the channel, but, like, looking up there, you can... I mean, it really looks like that's a hole in the ceiling that I could, you know, climb into. It's awesome. All right. Go over here. Oh, look, hypodermics. Oh, uh, what's that? Someone on the stairs above me. Great. Okay. Yeah. Red scarf dude with a pipe. All right. Oh, I want to check something. Since I've played this, ah, yeah, I could just cut to the chase and do this now, but we'll save that for later. Oh, these guys look normal. Yeah. That guy totally does not look like a serial killer in the flannel shirt. No, not at all. I shall dash them against the stone. So I can use my control, I can move my controller to rotate these in 3D space, which is pretty awesome. There's nothing written on the back. She'll dash them against the stones. I don't know what that means yet, but it probably can't be anything good. Okay. Open door. All right. I don't know. Is Does this... the flashlight follow your view or is it controlled independently? Oh, good question. The flashlight follows my view. Yeah, so wherever I look, the flashlight follows. So I don't know if this was supposed to be a mirror or a blacked out painting or what, but it, it's pretty creepy. Uh, I don't see anything down here that I can grab. Oop. Okay. All right. And, oh, look, creepy effigies. Awesome. It's always a great sign. All right. Nothing in the dusty utility shed. Can't do anything with this door. Getting the hang of the controls. It's not too barftastic yet. So the other interesting thing is that if I look somewhere and I flick the right stick up, that centers on my view. Or, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Never mind. I'm lying. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a screen door effect, but not too much. I am playing this on uh, PS4 Pro. I, um, I've had the PS VR since launch. I haven't played this in Liar. PS... I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, up there. All right, here's the kitchen. Do, do, do. Ugh. That's got to be a health code violation. Oh, look, a, a dead crow in the microwave. Now, if you see 
me getting closer, I'm actually bending over and, oh, yeah, see, out of play area, and getting a closer look at the disgusting crow in the microwave. So I don't know what that says about me as a person, but probably not anything good. That dripping was driving me crazy. <sighs> Yay. What's this? Oh. Ah. That's wow. I knew that was coming and it still freaked me out. Nothing in that drawer. Oh, there's a keyhole, but I don't have any keys, right? Yep, there's my inventory. Okay. All right, back. Oh, cupboard. Nothing there I can interact with. Oh, look, it's bolted shut. In true Resident Evil fashion, I'm going to need some sort of object to open it with. Uh, you don't have to, th and th this is kind of neat, you don't actually have to press the X button to open the door. You can just walk into it, so that's a little more immersive. And, uh, and this is also more disgusting in VR. And that thing I'm looking at, I don't know if it's viscera or a garbage bag or a garbage bag full of viscera, but whatever it is, it's disgusting. So I'm just going to go over here and grab the bolt cutters. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I forgot about that. And again, creepier in VR. What is that even made out of? <sighs> Crap. <sighs> okay. Uh, how do I do this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I map that to my left square button, and I could get out if I had a key. Do you find yourself noticing the minor details like the paintings and house material more? Um, I find myself noticing the house material more, but the paintings about the same. Um, the, the interesting thing is that the paintings pop off the wall a little bit more. Um, I mean, it, it looks like you could just reach out and touch them, but the, and I'm, I'm glad that the, uh, and I don't know if this is because I'm, I'm, um, this is the PS pro or if it's just the quality of the PSVR, I'm, I'm glad that the quality, the picture quality on the paintings themselves doesn't seem to have deteriorated much from the, um, from the, the non VR version of the demo because some of these things are pretty creepy or you know you're just sort of wondering what's going on all right i have bolt cutters derelict house footage does it say that on the the video oh yes it does i can almost read the writing Okay, so now back to the TV room. Let's go check upstairs first. Hey, 
I ask because some details get repeated in games and it seems like that would be more of a problem here. Oh, yeah. Like you would notice more. Right, right. Some of the paintings do repeat. Um, but I'm not noticing, like, uh, repetition of the texture mapping, if that's what you're asking. Um, but maybe that's just because right now the immersion effect is such to the point where I'm still, you know, kind of like wrapped up in the illusion. Like, this is a creepy painting right here. Either she's got a bag on her face or, or her head's on backwards. I, I don't know which one. I, I don't really care. Let's stop looking at it. Oh, hey, mannequins. People who collect mannequins are usually solid citizens, right? Stairs? What could that be for? Oh, I need a fuse for that. Jesus Christ! Anyone else feel like singing Starship now? That was an 80s movie reference. All right, nothing up here, no fuses or anything. Like Meshack Taylor. Meshack Taylor? I think the robot lady voice got that wrong. Or pronounced wrong. I heard Meshack Taylor. That was not there before. That really was not there before. Okay. And I can move that one. Can I move these ones? No. These mannequins are fixed. Mannequin the movie. Yes. Mannequin the movie. I don't remember Meshach Taylor in it. Wasn't Kelly LeBrock the mannequin? Or am I thinking of Weird Science? I know she was in Weird Science. Alright, back this way. He is. I hear growling. And it sounds like it's coming from behind this door. All right. Well, now it's time for the play within a play portion of our demo. And now the game became VHS. Boo. Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, Make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want to repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking My years ago. My favorite part of the demo. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't sure. be surprised if we have to make a change. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to put subtitles on because people are actually talking and, and so that uh, when we talk over them, they can actually be at least seen for the viewers at on the channel all right we do a walk through the inside first then we shoot the intro just like we always do just try to say the show's name this time okay ghost facers tonight on sewer gators another worthless fucking shithole happen ecstatic i think ghost facers works better Rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. Sewer Gators is the worst title ever. It's loud. <clears throat> After you. All right, I'm so, going to keep my eyes on the guy in the t-shirt this, this time. Do you ever prep? Because he's prep always the one who disappears, out? and I never watch him. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. 
show as an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete, not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I knew I should have worn my good shoes. Oh. Oh, shit. oh invisible wall. I can't go oh, and see what's happening to him. Make a great backdrop. Boo. Andre, what do you think? Andre? 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 Clancy, you see where Andre went? He went this way. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but... Uh, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? I you didn't catch the me. ghost this time. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Andre? Is he? <laughs> Andre, where are you, man? Game over, man. <laughs> ceiling tarantula, is that you? What? I missed the ceiling tarantula. Oh, by all means, let's go in the creepy crawl space. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Just RE1 reference. Oh, yes. a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. <laughs> what a tool. Whoa, that's weird. What do you see? What is it? Virtual douche. <laughs> oh, yay, Blair Witch Project. <laughs> it's Ebola, isn't it? It's why is it always Ebola? that get there? I mean, like, seriously, how did someone put that there while I was watching this video without me noticing? Really? <sighs> okay. Let's see. Well... There's some more creepy stuff back here that I haven't explored. Door covered in black mold. That's always a good sign, right? So, 
Uberx's number one rule of horror games is nothing good ever happens in the bathroom. Like, seriously, the worst that can ha- the best that can happen is nothing. But you better believe, like, I don't know, if you have to pick up a power-up or something, that there's going to be, like, some monster behind you, or, oh, okay, not this time. But, ugh, oh, that's blood. There's no water in the tank, because it's full of blood. So I have handgun ammo. Where can I find a handgun? Upside down bicycle and a bathtub full of blood. Like maybe a hexagonal crank? Ha ha ha. You're a hexagonal crank. <laughs> Nothing in here. Yeah, prison door, that's never a good... Oh, is that more handgun ammo? Still no gun. Blank notebook. What good is a blank notebook? Is there anything on the other side? No. Huh. Okay. Dear Diary, this is really messed up. Bathroom. Oh, I missed. I know the back door key is around here somewhere, isn't it? No. But those are all people who went missing or something. Oh, right. I remember where it is. Isn't the back door key in the crawl space? Yes, it is. It is. It is. That's where I'm heading now. Key. And I can't go down into the creepy basement of doom. Stupid robot lady delay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I've got the back. What was that? Someone went that way. Why am I following the noise? Oh, I guess it was nothing. 
It's usually never nothing. All right. You're a horny teen. <laughs> um, thanks. Are you giving me my motivation? Oh, stupid robot lady delay. That's why I'm following the noise. Got it. All right. Well, I, there should be, I think, more stuff to find. Maybe it's on subsequent playthroughs. I've never played through this more than... One. That's why you followed the noise. <laughs> Crash. All right, what's going on up here? Uh... Still nothing. And that other mannequin just disappeared. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to get out of this creepy place now because I've been here long enough. And I would like freedom, thank you very much. And that was promised to me. Jesus Christ, where do they get these mannequins from? I mean, seriously, is there a store where they just buy them by the truckload? <sighs> yeah, we're getting out of here. So, uh, well, that's the demo. Well, there's uh, a little more to watch, so... Dummy oh, drop for you. I got the bad ending. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten anything but the bad ending, um, because I'm bad at video games for the most part. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed my stream. Uh, I am going to try to start streaming the, uh, the full game once it hits in um on tuesday and uh you know we'll take it from there luckily uh because i'm doing this in ar mode you don't have to actually see my face but uh you can hear my voice as i uh narrate and make bad jokes while we play uh resident evil 7 and um i i hope you enjoyed it and uh any feedback you know please let me know and uh i hope you watch again soon Join the Resident Evil Ambassador Program. Okay. <laughs>